So, so chat, be honest with me here. I'm, I, I can kill this princess, right? Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things... Okay, chat, let me rephrase that. Who believes in me? Who believes I can do this? Who believes in the final gamer? So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able... I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. Blank stares. That's not really enough. Look, if the world around you... This song's kind of fucking going. I like it. And that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Don't worry. We only need this one last go. You'd better hope that's true. And don't let that inflated ego get in the way of doing your job. If there's still a princess at the cabin, but maybe we can salvage things. Maybe if we just grovel and apologize. I'll cut it out, will you? We need to... Um... What, what is the cabin? We're all oh. On the same page. Do you know, it's nearly more disturbing that the cabin looks normal. Is it before you... That's it? No, I'd rather not waste any more time. That's fine by me. The interior of the oh no, <laughs> no, no. But that is how that's horrible. You did. The only furniture of no, the blade is your imp. Take the blade. You take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess. Now, this, the this is the fear and hunger princess. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. You step forward and approach the door to the basement. All we see is that what? what the mirror? What are you? But it has to smack. Don't you want to we've, know? We've, we've gotten all this Do before. You, you reach forward and drag your hand across the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the dark. The stairs leading oh, down to the basement. Oh, this is, I, I, this is going to be a really fucked up princess, isn't it? High vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. The air is thick, its odor and This seems very violence. doable. I'm believing more by the Tap second. Assault Flamingo, I. I sting with the are we gonna get Meat Princess? Is this gonna be like an inside out princess? princess lives here, slay her voice. A bellowing rage roars up the stairs. Please don't be too angry. Please don't be too angry. Please don't be too angry. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? Come see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh and feel my hands set upon your throat. She's so angry with us. You've got to stop thinking about her. She's not some untouchable god. Whatever she is now, it doesn't matter what if I might interject, you didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. Continue down the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls oh, are in whoa. Deep, deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make Oh no! The princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's oh! Not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, with a nauseating sound, oh! the skin tears. It plops to the ground. She oh is, no! She is coming for you. I feel like, like, I have that feeling where I'm about to fight a Dark Souls boss, even though I know there's no combat in this game. Let her end it. It's the punishment you Oh, shut up. Man. We can win. We've done it before and we'll do it again. Only this time we'll make it out the other side. Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. Okay, let, let's, let's try and lower her guard. What happened to you? Time happened. You happened. But none of that matters. We're together again, and I'll have my pound of flesh. She oh! She across the room, her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. 
horrifying squench. You are unwound. Uh, I, I thought I'd, ha I'd have more of a chance to, to implement strategy. Chat, you, you all know how good I am at strategy. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. She's got, and there's that. This screw that I don't want to look at. Gaze into the reflection. Approach her. I love the music here. Flickering lights in empty cities. Do you know that? Like. Pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. I think the Fury is like a really beautiful design. Like it looks amazing. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean. I feel like to change like this. Um Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you. Yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on we will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. <sighs> Okay. Okay, we are going to load our other game. Loading will lose any unsaved progress. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Save. Actually, save is a good idea. So save in this empty slot and we'll load our other slot. Yes. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path... <gasps> Okay. Cabin. Okay. So, chat. And in the basement of that cabin. Here's the way I see it. Okay. I, I came into this stream, wanting to to prove what a fucking anti simp I am. And there was one moment where we'll say, I, uh, I dropped the blade after she 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 beat the shit out of me, in that in that last run. And so what we're going to do now, we are going to go back to that moment and I will make things right. I will show how the final gamer is a radical dude. There's another idea for the t-shirt. The final gamer is a radical dude, okay? okay? You're here. But no, I promise, chat, the simping is fucking over. I don't care what she turns into this time. I don't care if it's the fucking perfect version of what I like. It doesn't matter. This is going to be different. You make your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The interior blade is your. Take the blade. You take the blade. Into the basement. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase faintly illumined. Her voice. Who's there? She sounds. Don't let it. F um. Okay. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. And let's do. No, let's not quick save yet. You walk down the. She's so coldly beautiful. Is focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now... 
I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Squint at the you princess. Stare at the princess. She squint the two of you. Squint at the princess even harder. You squint even so does she. At least nobody's done. You're going to have to make Slay the princess. Doubt okay, the she's taken her karate stance, and I refuse to give in, no even though it's the most beautiful stance a woman can take. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Holy shit, that hurt! Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. I just, I didn't know she could do karate and I was caught off guard the last time. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone crushing hit. But those forearms, I know, dude, shut up. We can still turn this around. Finish the job. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath. She's all bloody. Exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out. This is the most romantic thing I've ever seen. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. It's your blood, pal. That's fine. I, I mean... We, we don't know that. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the, the two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? Well, clearly this is the end, so it's cool. I guess that's just a one-chapter story. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Ha <laughs> ha, chat! Ah ha 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 ha! You all thought I was a You're simp, but I'm alive and simplest, baby! At the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Let's do it. I killed her once, I can do it again. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to stop. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Crystal. Let's just get... Okay, let's see how the cabin's changed. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Hmm. Its cold stone walls press in on you as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Calling it now, this is his favorite route. Hmm. The music is sounding very cult-like. I am wondering, will she have her, like, a little princess cult or something to protect her from me? Because I killed her last time in a fight and so, we'll, yeah, okay, we'll see. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Take the blade. You take the blade. Enter the basement. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase. It's walls getting cult vibes and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. 
Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Oh Finally. no, oh no, oh no. It's been oh, ages no. since I've had a good fight. Oh. Fuck. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. It sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. Uh, you need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle <coughs> from her wrist to the basement wall. I, I, I need, I need a drink. Uh, a chat. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Okay, I, I guess we're doing this. Are we in the John Zone? Shut the fuck up, chat. I swear to God. <sighs> Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. And you mm. brought your little knife, too. Yes. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. You look different. Yeah, that's that's what I want to say. You look exactly the same. All right. Fine. If you're not going to address it, I will. What? You've already met the princess. The princess has already met you. The two of you killed each other. Did you think you'd be able to just openly talk about all that without me noticing? What whiskey is that, homie? This is Jameson Black Barrel. It's my favorite whiskey. It's kind of smoky, kind of rich. Uh, thought, I, thought I'd need it, it for reasons. Maybe. Of course I glossed over it. When a colleague says something insane, glossing... You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. Ah. Uh, of course I'm not okay! As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Um, just because it bothers you, I'm going to take even you don't know the depths of my apathy lie. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been here. Don't worry, I'm doing a good job. You got me. Pretty much everything you said is true. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I know. You and the princess have been- You don't have to be so- so you do remember I'm actually here to free you. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unfact first, like how we're both still alive. I haven't decided yet. Attack the princess. I don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye, turn around and leave. Well not fucking that one. Um Okay. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. So you do remember me. <laughs> oh, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. So, why don't we do it again? Uh... See? <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. And why not? You decided what to do with me quickly enough last time. Are you scared I'm going to kill you again? Maybe you're worried I'll put you down for good this time. If you want to talk, I guess I can talk. 
But you should come a little closer. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't see a problem with that. Cause blade held tight. Oh, hand. look at her arms. Cautious step towards the princess. You stop a few feet short of her reach. Her chains taut as she stares down at you. She's a lot bigger than I thought she was. Why do you sound so scared? We can take her. Well, what do you want? Because every second we waste talking is a second we could spend killing each other instead. Why do you want to kill each other? Can't we just, I don't know, spar a little? Maybe there's a compromise we can all get what we want. Nobody has to die and the world doesn't have to end. If all you want to do is fight me, does that mean that um, you won't end the world? Didn't you want to be free? What happened after you died? You have to figure this out here. You were put down here for a reason. I was sent to kill you. Um, don't you care what the reason is? Fine, if you want to fight, I'll give you a fight. Attack the princess. I'm not going to fight you. Turn around, leave, remain silent. Um... Why do you want us to kill each other? Why wouldn't I want that? Why don't you want that? It felt good last time. It felt right. And it makes sense. Can't we just, I don't know, spar a little? Sparring? That's just play fighting. It isn't real. What's real is when my flesh splits open. What's real is when you keep getting up until your legs can't hold you. Thank you for the subscription, Mythic Sites. What's real are the things we do to each other when the only options left are winning and dying. That is the only thing I'm interested in. Um. We don't, because I know- I asked her, why, we ha why are we here? We're here to kill each other. We're here to kill each other? Is that how boring? I'm not interested in watching you try and outwit her. I'm interested in overpowering her. We shouldn't need to you. I don't mean why we're here existentially. I mean, quite literally, why are you in the basement? Who sent you to kill me? Why me? Why you? Why are there answers out there we don't need to find? You were put down here for a reason. I was sent to kill you for a reason. Don't you care about that reason? We, we're we here because some people want me to kill you. Yeah, some people want me to kill you. My Twitch chat! We're here because you're supposed to be a threat to the world. Okay, I'm going to tell her about you guys. Who cares what people want? I know what I am. I found my- The princess flashes a sinister- You. Does she mean- uh, No, she means fighting us. She means both of us getting stronger through sheer pain and will. The fear of death no longer able to hold us back. Look, chat, look, I'm, I'm gonna be fucking real here, okay? If I'm marrying one of these princesses, it's this one. Just- if all you want to do is fight me, does that mean you won't end the world? Don't you want to be free? What happens after that? I feel like I know what her answer to all this shit is going to be. Fine, if you want to fight, I'll give you a fight. I'm not going to fight you. Turn around and leave. I'm gonna- I'm gonna fight her, chat! Finally ready to complete your destined task, you launch off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count all right. As you bridge the gap, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. Oh! She's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. You can hear her chains snap. <coughs> struggle to recover from the impact. One shot? She almost looks disappointed. In us. Oh, Why please, is she disappointed? Please in don't us? be disappointed. Please don't be disappointed. Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only you need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Don't let her get in your head. Reincarnate is huge. Don't no. listen to them. We, we, we got a fighter. Something that they don't. Striking her heart head on. That's your plan, then. That's your plan. Push off the ground. No, you wait. Pain in your ribs. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum. 
your weapon tightly. So he's simping once again. Oh no, it's not that simple. Pull it out. We'll try a different. Oh, we can do this. We're not gonna win if our weapon's stuck in her arm. Uh, keep pushing and launch attack it from a different angle. Uh, uh, okay. well, I I feel like not that it matters what she want, but I think she'd want me to keep going. Uh, uh. The princess's grin widens as the two of you push against each other, her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting up the dreary cave. Yes, you finally get it, don't you? I do. What are you talking about? It's finally continue pushing. I do. Nothing exists outside of us. It's just you and me, dying and coming back, clashing against each other forever. That's not what's going on. There's an entire world. Yes, the fate of the world doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this fight. The only thing that matters is getting stronger. And the only way to get strong. Your balance is suddenly thrown off as the princess pulls you into her knee. Oh, Jesus. Lies with your ribs and you feel them splinter. We're fine. You barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead. Oh my God. Your grip loosens from the impact, the blade still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone. I said, we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was, you might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. It really doesn't matter. The princess glances down at the blade embedded in her arm, and with near total- You forgot this. Oh, holy shit. She tosses it at your feet. Um. We are being- were you being metaphorical when you said nothing had six existed outside us? There's more to the world than just this cabin. Um, don't you want to be free, though? Actually, I think I'm done fighting you. I don't think it's healthy for either of us. Pick up the blade and attack her again! You and the princess attack each other once again. Each of you dealing a single. Wait, does that mean we're dead? Or rather, about to be dead? As your blade pierces her sternum, the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your organs. You feel a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and... It's over. No, it's not. Wait, but it is over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. There are few... Well, are you going to listen to him? Wait, no, that can't be right. <gasps> Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. Alive. Ha! I told you. What about her? The blade went right through. What about her? If we're fine. No, she's dead. She has to be. Right. <gasps> but all sh I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. This is perfect. The princess rises from the ground, staggering slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. She pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You know what to do. But she came back. What's the point of all of you need to settle down? This whole situation is coming dangerously close to untethering. She clearly never actually died. Oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, of course. Well, I guess I... You guess you had it. I never said I... Um... Attack her again! Attack her again! With unbreakable determination, you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. Both you and the princess quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share. Free from hesitation, you close the distance. Both you and the your blade Here we go! <gasps> oh shit! As her fist connects with your body, the impact forces the air from your lungs. Stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your. You both collapse to the ground before either of you. And then. Yes. This is some fucking shonen shit. You and the princess exchange. Oh my god. Sometimes you manage to strike first, and sometimes she tears through you before you have a chance to act. But more often than not. And then you get up and do it again. And again. It's the perfect again. relationship. And again. And again. Look at, look, up here she's using jujitsu. Up here she's using jujitsu. They're all still here. This is all gonna be okay isn't it but he doesn't answer the voice he'll never answer he's gone what are you waiting for i'm right here do you think this is what is this place it's 
we do this? I've got like six different endings in this game and somehow I've still never seen this. This game is phenomenal. Dude, it's fucking awesome. Huh. I didn't think we had it in us. But I guess that's stuck. It's the end of the world, isn't it? Far from it. We're still here. And she... The princess stumbles and her body I feel slumps. So tired. Look at how beautiful she looks, chat. Oh, shit. Where did she go? Is that up? You approach this, the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Screw the mirror. You just need it. Small distance as you approach. Glaze gate. I think you know what I mean. Wait. And then another crack forms, another and another, turning the mirror into a jagged shard sword. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions. Does it hurt when pieces break off like that? I'm sorry. So the mirror was the fucking narrator. I don't destroy you. Will it help you keep... Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece breaks off. Are you part of me or are you something else? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same all along? I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? What is this place? Where are we? What are you? Something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I am an echo, likely one of many. Somebody made you after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I will I will stop I will stop skipping chat. I'm an echo, likely one of many, blah blah blah. So you're the narrator. Others like you, you've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all the hubris? After everything you've done to us, you think... Do you think anyone deserves to live? So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I ever get to see you. I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all the hubris? I do. People out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. Every time I ask you something, it's like a little piece breaks off. Are you part of me or are you something else? No, I'm not a part of you. From one vantage point, I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well, all the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of me. Um, and what is my true identity? You're the long quiet, the god I made to rid the world of death. He, okay, we're a god and he made us? I'm not saying sorry to this motherfucker. So you do know about the looping. So many of the times I met you, you denied it as even being a possibility. Why did you lie to me? Perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. For all I know, each of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right.
How am I supposed to rid the world of death? By slaying the princess. Once she's gone, everyone will get to exist exactly as they are. No more fear. No more howling chaos. Just life. Forever. Mm. What is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting man. The ebb and flow. The capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo right. can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. Seems that every me you met did a real shit job of it, though. Okay, we have two more questions, chat. Um... How am I supposed to destroy an abstract concept? Of all things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? Why did you make her a princess? I didn't make her a princess, but I wove the idea of her into something your scattered mind could fathom. You chose for that something to be a princess. I'm not going to slay her. I want you to know that. I think you're out of time. Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all this. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with a newfound clarity. The narrator was right, you are the long quiet. A vast and nascent god, and if it's finally time for you to wake up, all of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. Time to fight the Mega Princess! You arrive at the heart of the thing. There is no final best field for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Now that's a mega princess! Ah! Oh! Um. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Now, chat, we have to remember why we're here. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Yes, Princess. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Um... So the chat, the, the, the idea here, chat, was to, to make her a... Solid princess, so she'd be easier to kill, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna slay the princess, and no one can ever when call me a simp ever again. One into two. He gave you a choice, and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? It's not about that! Or... Will you open the final doors to our liberation? There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions. I need answers before we can make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. If you are always going to become this, then 
What was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads it walked if all of them have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. I told you what, what's going to happen when we reach this point. Slay the princess. So tell her I'm going to slay the princess. Slay the princess. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know where to go. Okay, okay, let, let, let's just gather some more information here. Don't you have a say in this? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. If you are always going to become this, then what's the point of me doing anything? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Are, are we going to get violent or, or passionate though? that is also present. A pain that is everything, and yet nothing at all. You feel the shame of a hundred deaths and the pride of a hundred conquests. It's, it's my all love. She has returned to me. Weaving themselves into a single tapestry, free of beginning and free of end. Do you remember when we killed each other with such fervent passion that death itself no longer sat on our shoulders? Um, yeah. It was beautiful. It was. Yes. Triumph does not exist without defeat. That's so true. Birth does not exist without death. It is through conflict that we create beauty. Is small of you. There is no beginning to them, nor is there an end. There is only the flood of bodies. And every moment you hold every possible sensation at once, and then you hold them all again. And in the end, you returned it to me. For a brief moment, you were everything. Joseph Anderson described this whole thing as trying to decide what to have for dinner, but you and your wife are both gods. I couldn't understand you then, but I think I understand you now. You saw with a single pair of eyes, but you needed dozens to comprehend. And now here we are, each with millions of eyes, and all of them open. Your liver tries to sink into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. I was blinded by a notion. We both know that. We were both taken by the moment. It was. Oh no! I don't want that world to come to pass. You can give me a choice. I won't engage in violence. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fight early and surrender. Remain silent. But you say nothing. 
Oh no! Oh no! Shelter protecting itself from you. You took fear by the hand and walked with it into the unknown. And through that, you feared nothing. Hmm. That wasn't rejection of fear. You broke me to your will. You wanted to make the world suffer. You act as if you're all about it, but you're not. I'm not afraid anymore. But even. Even if I'm not afraid now, the fear of what this is real, we can't uphold the harm that everyone suffers just because we're beyond it. Uh, that one! Others cling to fear because they have not yet seen beyond it. Will you strip the beauty of transformation just because some live? As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. Sure, it's easy to believe the things you believe in. Yeah, when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? Okay, I'm ready to leave, but how do we leave? I never want to fight you, but how do we leave? I can't let this happen. I can't let everything die. Slay the princess. I have to fight for a better world. I'm so sorry. Slay the princess. You are cruelty itself, and I cannot let you exist, slay the princess. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you be free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dis dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. So, I feel like the argument here is for a world of chaos and pain or a world where you eradicate that, but that that's just, that's just the chainsaw man, right? Like it's the same choice. It's easy to believe in things when you get to sit above it all. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. I can't let that happen. Can't let you. S no, I'm not ready to slay the princess. You've done everything you can to make you understand. Okay, maybe I can change you. What I offer you is not personal. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it. Oh, <gasps> the hero's here. Which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. Where's everyone else? They're still where you left them. Stuck in the folds of this place. Part of me is with them. Just like part of me is with there's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. It's time to resume our day. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. I'm ready. Then let's go. Huh? <gasps> Here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to dis- I'd like to for all time's sake. Yeah, of course. Oh, hero, you're all right. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. Oh my god, the windows. You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really mentioned the windows, did he? There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of Take the blade. That's probably for the best. It's always... Into the basement. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? 
first time we heard her voice. Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. It's and just her, just a normal are. princess. Nice in hand. It really brings me back. Have you given up on talking? Have you finally decided to kill me? You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? Oh, this is really it, isn't it? Just one button press. It's all over. No one ever gets to call me a simp ever again. Are you the same as you were there? No. I feel like I'm myself again. I don't want to have to slay you, but I don't know what other options there are. I'm sorry, Plinceress, slay the princess. I don't want to be a god. Honestly, me neither. Huh? What are we going to do? Well, I don't want to be at the end of that knife, so how about we figure something out? What if we tried doing this forever? I can do whatever you think I can, right? So make me put it all back. Make me fix the Echo's construct and make me wipe our memories of everything that's happened. Make me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up. Before either of us saw the truth. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? I don't want- no, I- resetting doesn't feel right. Um, I don't want to forget you. We're going to find ourselves back here eventually. If we're talking about this right now, how do we know we haven't done this before? This isn't fair. I want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. Isn't there another way? I take it all back. I don't want this and I don't want to kill you. It's too late to bring- to go back to being a god. Okay, then let's do it. I believe in us. Agree on our plan. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Slay the princess. Slay the princess. Would her setting it do anything to help them, the people out there? If you continue to exist, don't they continue to die and suffer? I don't want to forget you. That's sweet. But unless you do, the whole world ends, right? Not like I care. But it seems important to you. If we're talking about this right now, how do we know we haven't done this before? Well, I don't think that's something we'll ever get to know. But odds are, we've probably done it before. How do we know things won't e end worse? What if I make my way back here and I'm different and I hurt you? What if I kill you? What if you... What if I let you bring e the end of everything? This isn't fair. I want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. Neither do I. But we won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Is there any other way? You brought that knife down here for a reason. Either you use it to kill me, or I use it to put things back. Would resetting it do anything to help them, the people out there, if you continue to exist, don't they continue to die and suffer? Fixing that is on you, not me. If you want me to help them, you'll have to make me help them. We're going to find ourselves back here eventually. And if we do, nothing is stopping us from making the same choice. We could just keep doing this forever. How do you know that things won't end worse? Who cares? We've heard each other plenty and I still like you. Oh no. And if you're hesitating, then you must still like me too. We'd have to decide this every single time, forever. Eventually something is going to be different. What if we change our minds? Well, if we change our minds, we change our minds. What matters is that we'll always have a choice. This is just the one we're making now. I 
take it all back. I don't want to do this. I don't want to kill you. It's too late to go back to being a god. Okay. I feel like this is the only option I can make without making a decision. Yeah, and I think it's too late for that. But maybe next time. <laughs> Demigore, do, do you like Mario Kart? So there's only... There's only two options left. I can slay the princess, or I can agree to her plan. Chat, do do you have have any feelings about this? Okay, let's 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 get a poll going if we can. I'm not gonna say I will follow the poll, but I I I'm just curious. No, I'm. I I will be making my choice. I just I want to know. I want to know where Chad is on this. Okay, here we go. It's plan versus kill. Plan is running away with it. It is not close. Plan at seventy-seven votes. Kill at forty-five. No, I think I think I think it's. I think chat has kind of made a decision here. Okay. Okay. Plan wins. When will you people learn that the final gamer always has a plan? Okay. If this is your choice, then I have your back. I guess I'll see you on the other side. She takes the blade from our hand, a fondness in her gaze. Oh, I love you too. You're on a path. What? No, what? Here to slay her. Reboot? Reboot? No! No, we can't have started again! Oh! But we did! <laughs> oh, this fucking game! <laughs> I think I got got! I think I got got! Oh, uh, I think- I don't think I've ever been gaslit by a video game. Damn it! <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for playing. As an expression of our gratitude, here's the track order of the special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. That's really sweet. I don't think I want to take this stream. Let's return to the main menu. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's our ending, right? That's that's what we chose and that's where we're at. Guys, next week a very special final gamer of the year episode where I will be updating my top 100 video games of all time and implementing this year's entries, including Street Fighter 6, Baldur's Gate 3, Fear and Hunger 1 and 2, and Slay the Princess, and probably a bunch of other bullshit that wasn't as good at any of those things. So, I will see you guys back here next week. Check the Twitch schedule. I might end up doing a video midweek but yeah i'm gonna start updating the twitch schedule so you're actually gonna know what i'm playing let's do a little raid and close this out guys thank you so much that was that was incredibly fun
Okay, guys, listen, have a great weekend. Um, I will see you next week, and I love you all, and, and you, you guys stay special, okay? Be, be good to yourselves. Bye-bye.